Announced. What's wrong? You're going like this? So, louder? Vocals louder. Okay, could you turn up the vocals? Apparently they want to hear me. Thank you. We can start over. 16 miles, that's what I was singing. Or we could just do an interpret, like, we could get one of those people up. Huh. I pray, oh, as we do, we drive around the world, tell people it's okay to pray even if they're non-believers. Works the same for believers and non-believers. It's about 50-50. You don't have, a guy came up to me in Texas, he said, well, your new record offend me, I'm a Christian. I said, not if you don't want it to. Because well, there's the truth, it's not... It's not people who offend us, it's us who are offended. There's a little Buddhist, there's a little Buddhist lesson early in the cruise. Okay. And the, guy, the preacher said, look, the preacher says, look, he says, he says, this is a good Sunday for some everybody to come forward and tell it like it is to tell the truth. The preacher said, why don't you just come up and tell your sins? Everything's going to be forgiven. Everything's going to be good. Come on up. The guy comes up. He says, you know, this week I was driving home with the babysitter. She had on a short skirt. And I reached over and I touched her leg. And he says, that's right. Tell it like it is. He says, he says, fortunately, she pushed me back. But I'm here to tell you, I touched her babysitter leg. I feel so He says, that's right. Tell it like it is. Tell the truth. That's right. Tell it like it is. I said, you know what? He says, my neighbor's wife came over to drop a cup of sugar off, and I kissed her right on the lips, and she threw and pushed me back, but I feel terrible about it. I'm here to tell it. He said, that's right. Tell it like it is. Tell it like it is. That's right. Tell the truth. He says, that's right. The guy comes up. He says, you know what? This week, I slept with a goat. And the preacher said, oh, I wouldn't have told that one. <laughs> You know why this boat left Florida? Because it was too cold in California. <laughs> oh, yes, you wind your way. This is a Buddhist lesson if there ever was one. This is, this is immediate frickin' karma right here. <laughs> IFK, immediate frickin' karma. That's what's going on here. You wind up up California, now you're freezing your ass off in Florida. <laughs> I might as well just uh, freaking come on my polar bear train last year if you're going to do this cruise. <laughs> we had that polar bear train. Oh, we only had one, too, because we, we, we caused so much trouble, they doubled the rate. <laughs> but, oh, you should have been on that. Hey, Luke and I and Washboard Hank and this fella from San Francisco what drank a bottle of Grappa 3 o'clock in the morning in a boxcar, blizzard outside, white, you know, white out. And bear, polar bears are white. They said, there's bears in town. You can't go out of the train. Three o'clock in the morning, the four of us step out of the train. <laughs> we stepped out of the train, walking down the tracks back to back. <laughs> Got 300 yards out. The guy from San Francisco says, I am frightened. I said, what are you scared about? You only have to be faster than one other guy. <laughs> I never know if that's the buzz in the sound system or it's just it's just you guys having acid flashbacks from the 60s. It's buzzing, yeah. I think it's because there's no ground on the boat. That's what they always tell me, there's no ground on the boat. A lot of people here who need grounding. Songs. And Nashville, Tennessee, didn't really understand him Cause he did things differently than the way that they were done But when he finally made it to the Grand old Opry, he made it stand still He ended up 